You're going to do what? I asked a friend as I picked up my jaw from the floor. He had just told me that he and his wife were going to skip all vaccines for their child, and I couldn't believe it. All of them? I asked again. All of them, he said, confidently. I couldn't wrap my head around it. He never talked about 9-11 conspiracies or government cover-ups. He was a smart guy. In fact, he had just completed medical school and somehow had come to the conclusion that he and his wife were not going to allow any vaccines for the precious baby growing in her womb. What an idiot, I thought to myself. Why would you take such unnecessary risks with your baby? Anti-vaxxers were crazy people who believed in UFOs and somehow ignored all scientific evidence that suggested vaccines were the greatest medical invention humanity had ever created, responsible for the conquest of most diseases and millions of lives saved. Why would anyone with half a brain purposefully avoid this miracle medical intervention? In the weeks and months that followed, I began to look more closely at the debate. I had heard of Andrew Wakefield and a debunked scientific paper that linked autism and vaccines. I knew that actor Jenny McCarthy had received a lot of flack for speaking out about autism and vaccines. Beyond that, I knew very little. My son had received vaccines as a child, many more than I felt comfortable with, and personally, I had always avoided the flu shot, as I'd seen many of my friends come down with the flu or something like it whenever they got one. Did that make me an anti-vaxxer? I remembered poking fun at one or two friends who expressed concern about vaccines. I equated their reluctance to a fear of needles or the stress from having to physically restrain their child. As I began to read more, I realized how little I actually knew about the topic. My mind swirled with confusion as some of the stories I had absorbed over the years appeared to be different than what I had been taught. It was an incredibly uncomfortable experience. When something you know to be true without a shadow of a doubt begins to take on a much different shape in your mind, it's not something most humans are well equipped to handle. As a few things I knew to be true about vaccines appear to be much less clear, my world was shaken. How could this be? I asked myself. If this is actually true, then how could I not know? How could doctors not know this? I read the footnotes and looked up the references. I looked up the references of the references. I continued down the rabbit hole for months until I realized that much of what I had heard about vaccines and disease was mostly wrong. Again, this was a deeply troubling journey, and the only reason I think I was able to sustain it was because I had a natural curiosity much stronger than my fear of the unknown. It is now years later, and I've dedicated my life to trying to help people understand the truth about vaccines and disease. I've made over 130 videos, written four books, and traveled across the country. I've sabotaged my professional career and made enemies of many of my family and friends in the process, all in an attempt to help people understand the true pros and cons of vaccines. I didn't start speaking about vaccines for fame or fortune because there is none. I simply wanted others to see what I'd realized without having to invest the years of research and mental anguish. This short book you are now listening to is just a quick dip in the pool on the subject. It is my sincere hope that everyone who listens to this will begin to research the truth about vaccines and disease and, in the process, create a huge improvement in your family's long-term health. Just as importantly, I hope that any fear or anxiety you may be feeling about the subject will disappear after listening to this book. Vaccines are a contentious topic, and it can be intimidating to believe something many of your friends and family disagree with you on. Just know that the people I've met who've taken the plunge and are not vaccinating their children are some of the happiest, healthiest, friendliest people I know.